Hey everybody, Phil Crute here at Comedy Cigars and Music, and today's cigar for review is the House Blends Direct Box Pressed Habano. Off the foot and wrapper, I'm getting some earth, salt, sweetness, and chocolate. Okay, so right at the beginning of this cigar, as far as the flavors on the pull there, earth, a little bit of butter, and that butter's kind of at the end of the pull, and just a hint of sweetness there. On the finish, really kind of a um, earthy sweetness. It almost feels like there's a spice that wants to come in there. Retrohale, some earth and smokiness. Also on that pull, I got a little bit of nuttiness as well. So I've done a review on a House Blends Direct cigar before, the um, Nicaraguan Triple X. And that cigar, I thought, performed really well. I've actually smoked a Maduro, box press Maduro uh, Robusto, which this is a Robusto size as well, um, from House Blends Direct. And that was also good. Didn't review it, just smoked that one. House Blends Direct, the whole idea behind it, if you watch the other review I did, is that they don't have any labels, any bands, and it basically comes from the factory direct to the consumer. So it brings down the price quite a bit. Okay, we are finishing up the first third here. The burn has remained excellent throughout. The ash actually just fell off right before I went to start recording again. It fell off in one nice solid clump there, so no problems with that. The overriding flavor in this first third has been earth, with just a little bit of nuttiness every now and then. Um, Retrohale, same. Earth, and on the finish, earth and leather. One thing I was just thinking of, so some of you know, <clears throat> I play music, I play drums, and um, I played in bands for a very, quite a while, over a couple decades. And uh, since actually getting into the cigar community, I've been smoking cigars for a while, but since getting into the actual community, which was, I don't know, beginning of this year probably, when I say that, I mean I just kind of actively started, you know, posting stuff, things like that, cigar reviews, different things. The cigar community is a lot like the music community. And by that I mean, there seem to be a lot of really cool people in the community, the majority of people. If you're a new cigar smoker wanting to get into the community, I would say just go all out and do it, however you want to do that, whether that's just going through Instagram or Facebook or Twitter, however you want to do that. It doesn't mean you have to make videos and stuff like that. And this is coming from a guy that played music for a while and kind of had a similar type of community. You're going to run into a lot of cool people, and that is awesome. There are also some people that are kind of doughweeds. And that's how it is with music. I remember one time I was playing a show with this guy that he fancied himself to be quite an extraordinary drummer. Um, anyway, I'm talking to him a little bit. We're kind of sharing ideas like you do in the music community, just like you do in the cigar community. He gave me a number of bands that he liked. Some of them I was very familiar with, others I didn't know that well. And I took all that in very well, but I started mentioning some of the bands that I liked and I enjoyed, and he kind of downplayed those because they weren't to what he would consider his level. That'd kind of be my example of a dill weed. Um, there are cigars that I've had that I really, really like, and there's been cigars that I've had that I don't like. I'm not gonna trash those cigars. Um, I don't like them. So what that means is they didn't suit my palate, um, and that's the end of that. Now there's people that love those cigars, and that's awesome. And that is another part that reminds me of the music community. You have a group of people that like some music, some people don't like that music, but the cool people are willing to say, you know what, I don't like that music, but I can appreciate what those people are doing. I can appreciate why maybe you like them. The dillweeds um, will tell you that that music is horrible and you have no right listening to it and you shouldn't be listening to it if you're a real musician. All summed up, focus on the cool people in the community and ignore the dillweeds. All right, rounding out the second third here. And same thing with the ash. That fell off right before I went to record again. So it fell off in a nice solid clump. No issues with that. 
I did have one minor burn touch up here in the second third. Flavor wise, <clears throat> still that earth. Nuttiness is trying to get back in there. I really feel nuttiness trying to come back in there. On the retro hail, earth and black pepper spice. That's been pretty good. And then on the finish, still that earth and leather. So that earth and leather on the finish. If you suffered through my rant about uh, dill weeds in the uh, music community and cigar community, I will tell you that that was just something that was on my mind. And if you're just coming in and hearing me say, hearing me say dill weeds in the cigar community, I was not talking about the majority of people. That is just a few that are out there. There's dill weeds in anything you get in. Don't forget that. There's a little fruitiness in there. Now, a lot of you people might be watching this thinking, well, Phil would know dill weeds because Phil's a dill weed. And that's all right if you think that about me. Um, you might be right. I would like to think I know dill weeds because of my time playing music and running into some dill weeds. And also um, my current profession, which I'm a police officer. So um, I see my share of dill weeds. And no, I'm not talking about other police officers. But hey, there are some police officers that are dill weeds. That's just reality of life, people. Reality of life. All right, in and out this cigar here. So I had one minor burn touch up, no biggie. Flavor wise, I would have to say that this cigar kind of opened up here a little bit in the final third. Still that earth, there was a sweetness, a nuttiness, and a fruitiness as well. Um, that fruitiness that I kind of caught during one of my little rants there. That sweetness was probably the most interesting. It started out as kind of just a general sweetness. And then as I got further into the final third, almost towards the end here, it kind of became this like marshmallow sweetness. On the finish, earth and the spiciness has come in and that spiciness has been a really nice complement to those other flavors that I'm getting on the pulls. And on the retro hail, sorry, my dog's right here, I got fur. Um, on the retro hail, just basically earth on that retro hail. The smoke output has been good throughout the whole cigar. In this final third, it really ramped up. Just plumes of smoke coming out on this final third. So, another enjoyable cigar by House Blends Direct. Smoke time for this cigar came out to an hour and 15 minutes. Guys, as always, thanks for joining me. If you enjoyed this video, have enjoyed other videos, other reviews, please don't forget to like and subscribe. Any questions or comments, please leave them below. I have had people commenting on more things, which is awesome. It's nice to be able to kind of converse with people, go back and forth. Really enjoy that. Until next time, guys, be cool to each other. Don't be a dillweed. And I will see you soon.